This short video is from a lecture in my course on chain code development using Golang. In this lecture, I'm showing how the data is managed on a CouchDB instance when a peer is set up to use CouchDB for state data. CouchDB provides a native web interface that can be used for browsing the data, for querying the data, for managing indexes, and carrying out other activities. This web interface is launched as part of the CouchDB container or server you don't have to launch a separate web application for it. I will be using the term Foxton and Photon to refer to the web interface for CouchDB. Foxton is the latest version, whereas Photon refers to an earlier version of this web interface. To get more information on Foxton, search for Foxton Visual Guide. You can get all the information on how to use Foxton on this website. To connect with Foxton, launch a browser on your host machine and hit the URL localhost colon 5984 slash underscore utils. This is the first page of Foxton that shows all the databases created on CouchDB. The first two are the system databases used internally by CouchDB. A line channel underscore is a database used for managing information about the A line channel on the peer. A line channel underscore dollar cryptocurrency dollar TXN is the state database for the cryptocurrency TXN chain code that has been installed and instantiated on this peer. A line channel underscore LSCC is a database used for managing the life cycle of the installed and instantiated chain codes on the peer. Our interest is in the state database for our chain code, which is this one. Now we are looking at all of the documents managed in the state database. These are the documents that have been added by the script setup-data.sh. To run a query, just click on run a query with Mango. And once you run the query, you will see the results here. These results can be seen in table format, or you can see them in JSON format. To test queries, you can put your query in this box here and execute these queries by hitting run query. As you can see here, I have provided transaction date as one of the criteria for selecting the document. And since it's a specific date, we received only one document in the result set. Notice that I have provided the value for date in the required format. To manage indexes, you can click on the manage indexes. Here you can see what all indexes exist and you can also create new indexes here. To go back, click on edit query. When you run the query, and if you're interested in finding out which index have been used, click on explain, and it'll tell you how the records were selected in terms of the internal execution of the query by CouchDB. Specifically, we'll be interested in finding out which index was used for the query. You will see all of these features in use in the lectures in this section. Hope you found this video useful. For more details, check out my website. Thank you for watching.